Exactly two weeks ago, we were just learning about the disappearance of Sebastian Rogers from Sumner County. Today, the search continues. The case, though, we know is now a criminal investigation. Thanks for being with us at 6, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Kelsey Gibbs. And for Carrie tonight, for the first time, we are getting a look at family video of the missing 15-year-old. Sebastian's biological father gave it to Nick Bears during an exclusive on-camera interview. Seth Rogers shares custody of his son and the deputy with the Davidson County Sheriff's Department spent the past two weeks looking for Sebastian. I'm hoping he's still alive. You know, that, that's, that's my main hope right now is that he's not deceased. I mean, I keep praying that he's alive. I keep praying that somebody's going to see him, that somebody's going to call 911. Seth's 15 year old son disappeared barefoot and with a flashlight from his mother and stepfather's home in Hendersonville either late on Sunday, March 3rd, or early that Monday. Seth knows the key to finding his son may come from a tip. Several photographs have already been made public, and now he's released two video clips of Sebastian. In this first one, you see Sebastian up front on the left in yellow shorts, participating in a tug of war with fellow students. And if you watch, he got swung around at the end like a little rag doll, and it's like, well, he gave it his best. This second video shows Sebastian walking at his middle school graduation. I was very proud of him. I mean, he, he successfully completed something. Seth says his son, who is autistic, is not a wanderer. He finds it highly unlikely Sebastian would leave in the middle of the night barefoot, based on an experience his son had as a child. He decided to, that he wanted to step into a mound of what he thought was dirt, and it was fire ants. And since then, it's always been doesn't like to get his feet in the dirt. He likes to have his socks and shoes on. Seth won't rule out the possibility of foul play, that someone is involved in his son's disappearance. And if Sebastian is able, he says he needs to call for help. He needs to call 911. And if somebody has him, you need to give him back. He's my son. And he doesn't belong to nobody. But damn it, he's mine. And he's mine. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Today, authorities have named no suspects and say that all of Sebastian's parents continue to cooperate with the investigation.